Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're on episode 5 and today we're going to be doing some stuff with aircraft. In the previous seasons I didn't really make that much use of them, but it's going to be an interesting situation here with Palm Bay, San Francisco and Mobile. I've spotted this opportunity here, it's nice and flat. And over here, perfect opportunity for an airport. It's going to be an opportunity for an airport, but it's also going to be a big hub. There will be um, a transport of food to Palm Bay, San Francisco and over here Mobile. We're going to be tying everything in here with potentially a train station. This is going to be a large place. Um, since I want to do most of this stuff manually, I'm thinking of going with a standard passenger airfield and then managing or uh, adjusting that thing as I see fit. So I'm going to put that over there. We're going to go in the airfield and configure it. Um, oh, actually, no. Hold on. Mistake. I this way do not have access to large aircraft, which is what I want. I want a cargo airport. Over there, it's going to cost me about 15 million. That's fine. But I also want to have a standard terminal for passengers. That's critical for this particular airport. Uh, yeah, that's on the airport configure. Street access, passenger terminal, there. All right, that passenger terminal and the building in front of it are the key. And those are the ones that need to have access to the rest of the area. So if I, hold on, the road network is here, right? Yeah, there we go, it's connected, slightly. Okay. Um, it's going to be a requirement to have both trucks and trains over here. So, oh, actually, in that case, it should probably be a medium, no, a large street, which naturally, no, I can upgrade it. Excellent. All right, we're going to take that thing and connect it to the towns at a slight angle to make it look a little prettier. It's going to go all the way over a million. No. A million's a bit rich. A bit rich for my taste. 400k and 95k. That is more like it. The same thing is going to happen here. Oh crap, I'm already colliding with the airport here. Let's remove this segment and redo that. Because there still really needs to be a bit of room for further buildings here. Potentially even a second runway, although that right now is not a really high priority. Uh, yes, this is actually great. Although, hold on, can I upgrade this? No. Only at the expense of removing fields. Okay, in that case, I'm not going to remove them. We're going to run by them. To here. And then let's see if I can make this as cheap as possible. Here, here. That's a grand. That's 50k. That's better. Alright, and then the last bit is going to be over here in Mobile. Upgrade this segment. There. This part can't quite upgrade, so just remove and redo. it is connected because I might still need that uh, steel plant there it's connected all the way to here next up is a big train station I'm going to need a train station uh, not a terminus but a standard one with three tracks because I'm not going to send buses downrange I'm going to do that with trains there. And the tracks, these are going to be high speed tracks. We're going to have high speed tracks going pretty much along the road here. In the meanwhile, I'm still letting the game run at full speed to generate as much cash as possible. And we're going to set up a terminal station here with just the one track. And let's see if I can tie that into town here somewhere. Not really as well as I'd hoped. 
just have to put it down here then on the outskirts of town. Here. Just make sure it's connected. There. High speed track. Oh, are we clipping that building? No, we're not. Excellent. All right, that's the one. The next track is gonna come out of this side. Now you might be wondering, um, this is all nice and good, but why are you building a road and a train? Why not one or the other? Well, when you're distributing cargo, trucks, I find, are a little easier. They just take a little bit less effort to make work. Yeah, we'll just have to take a different route with the train in hopes that it'll not run terribly expensive. Yeah, this will be fine. We can park it here on the outskirts of town. Same as the other one. Condition of vehicles is very poor, that's all right. I'll handle that off screen. There. And then the last one is gonna go to Mobile. Mobile's train station is going to be set up here. Uh, yeah, this is a decent enough position for it, I suppose. There. Ooh. Can we make this thing work? Yeah, speed's not ideal, though. Oh, this is decent. Over here we can speed up. I'm probably going to be using the red arrows, so it shouldn't be too much work. They don't need a ton of speed anyway. I'll connect that here. Right. Over here we're going to need a small terminal for the passengers. Uh, a bus tram stop is enough there. And let's say I want to pick them up here and here. New line, start, go, go, done. All right, we have names. This is the uh, Karupia, Karupia bus line. Uh, oh, crap. If you want to get your name in the game, by the way, support me on Patreon or join me on this channel. You can click the join button next to the subscribe button. And that way you're supporting me directly and you can get your name featured in the game as well as a line. Alright, this one, go, 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 and here. And that one's going to be the KG bus line. And we still need one more down here. This one still needs to get connected first. So a standard medium street ought to do it. There. Bus stop over there, here, and here, and well, we're on the way back anyway. So start, go, go, and go, done. And that's the Dave bus line. Now, since everything here is connected, I can very easily put down a building that spawns the vehicles in. Just your standard road depot there. And let's say I want to have um, I want to have a BK670 for each. So one's going to go, let's zoom out a little on the Dave bus line. One's on the KG and one on the Karupia line. Done. So yeah, they're all on the way. Now over at the train station, I still need to have a depot. And this train depot is going to sit at a position where I can hopefully tie in all the tracks. Um, let's see. Tie that into there. And then have another crossover. No, that's a bit sharp. Can do it there. Can we do it here? Yes. Very good. Still, three more lines are required. One from here. 
to there. That is the uh, more train line. Next up to San Francisco, that is the Martinez line, passenger line. And the last one starts here and goes there. It's a short hop, but I'm expecting quite a few transfers between there since Palm Bay is going to be the hub. And that's the uh, Broch passenger line, passenger line, there. All right. A couple of electric multiple units. Probably going to start with the Rotop file for just 20 and then upgrade eventually to the Mirages. But if I want to get three of these, I'm down 39 million. If I get three of these, I'm down about seven. So this one. Uh, no, well, yeah, I could double them, but not yet. Buy, buy, and buy. This one on the bra. This one on Martinez, and this one on more. I just hope that... Yeah, this one launches, that one launches, and that one launches as well. Perfect. So with this hub operational, we just connected Palm Bay and San Francisco and Mobile together. Excellent. Now I can work on the cargo hub of things. Because what I've spotted here is an opportunity to provide food to all these towns. Palm Bay and San Francisco wants food. Not that much, but they want food nonetheless. Mobile also wants food. So next point is going to be to set up a truck stop here. And this one, again, does not get the right to interfere with the airport too much. There. We're going to need to adjust this one a little bit. Set up an additional terminal for cargo. And we're going to drop off the food with a truck stop. Where do you want it? You want it over here. One. Where do you want your food? Here. Smack in the middle of town. And these guys want it over here. All right. Three more lines. One. Uh, no, 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 no. Not on Elm Street. We're going here. 14th Street. And that is then the Hawks uh, food supply. The next one starts here as well. Goes there. That's going to be the Dots food supply. And the final one here and here. I think the game might be. No, it's not auto saving. There. And that is the driver food line, uh, food supply. Okay, now we need to fly in the food. And we can do that from over here. This is where we're making food, and a lot of it. Even a lot more than we can actually use, and this thing can still get upgraded. So we're gonna have an airport over here, a large cargo airport. And I do need to make sure that it's connected. Can I spin it to here? Small spins. Oh. There. Click. Done. We're going to start here. I'm going to fly that food all the way out there. Oh, hold on. That's the wrong part of the airport. To there. Okay. And that should transport the food. We just need to figure out what the aircraft should be. Sorry, I had to look up another few names. Because this is not line one, of course. No, no, no. This is the uh, Brendrian food flight. And we're gonna buy a vehicle. It's gonna be a cargo vehicle. They can transport 18. Now we're gonna need something bigger. This is more like it, but this is 25 million for one aircraft. This can transport 51. Not great. 20 for this one for 8 million. So I could have three of these for 24 million, or one of these for 51 for 25 million. Speed 893, speed 752. I kind of doubt they're going to get up to that speed. If I use a Hercules, we're slightly slower. Or substantially slower, 200 kilometers slower. 
at 24. So let's go with uh, the uh, British Aerospace ones. Set both of those up on the food flight. But right now there is no demand. Because I have not set anything to get transported from there. So let's sort that quickly. Uh, the Dots food supply. Driver food supply. And finally the Hawks food supply. So now there is a demand from the towns to the airport. Or rather the other way around. I could, depending on whether that aircraft can, and I think it can, I can transport grain back using the flight, using the plane. Because considering the aircraft that I have, that should be possible. Uh, cargo airport. This thing can transport anything, correct? Yes, can transport all cargo, good. In that case, we're also gonna ship some food back. So in order to do that, I need a truck stop. One platform ought to do it. Put that there. And then sort it out with a medium country road. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's the train line. There. This one, transport grain to the airport. We're gonna need even more terminals now. Uh, that's the Cooper grain line. And considering the carrying capacity of the aircraft plus flights, I'd say we're gonna need, oh crap, wrong type. These dumper trucks. Uh, that's the grain line. The passengers here are starting to pile up, that's good. This one should start spawning in. There we go. And how's the airport doing? The airport is getting food. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, that seems to work. I set up, what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 11 or 12 lines, I think. But it should start earning me money. Maybe to the detriment of the Pisswasser food line, but it is already making me money. I just want to see how much the aircraft are making me. So let's fast forward to the point where they take off, just to see what they do. And then we're going to follow along with the aircraft. Almost a full haul. Clear for takeoff. I hope you enjoy your flight. Beverages will be handed out shortly. This is a food flight after all. And off we go. We're heading somewhere all the way over there in the distance. You can still hear me over the noise of this aircraft. Let me move to the cockpit a bit more. Leveling up, 236 kilometers an hour. I think we should start speeding. Oh no, we're still climbing. Now we're leveling up. And we're speeding up. Slowly as well. Hmm. 
in order to see the airport there. So that means that this is San Francisco down here. I'm not sure what town that is. I don't think I've interacted with it yet. I think we topped out at 550 or so, speed-wise. It, it's not really particularly a fast flight. So going with the other aircraft might not have been the right call because it simply wouldn't have gotten up to the speed to make it more efficient. Oh, maybe the guys over there don't like my planes flying overhead. That's a consideration. Banking. There's the train station. If we're lucky, we're going to see a red arrow either depart or arrive. Look at that. Not bad, huh? There's the quarry. Yep, there's the red arrow down there. We do kind of fly over that town. It's going to cause noise pollution. I could land from the other side, but I'm worried that if I do that, I'll still fly over the the town with the takeoff so it wouldn't really do me that much good current flight path takes them to well it kind of takes them over palm bay although this one doesn't care <laughs> this aircraft is just doing something completely different now there is already a little bit of grain waiting here 17 so that's enough to at least fuel well fuel fill one of the aircraft and I really want to see how much this flight makes. Two million for trans transporting 20 food. This is the weird mechanics of Transport Fever 2, where it is beneficial to have a flight go as far as you can and as fast as you can, because that's the formula that the game uses to make money. So if you can transport something from here to the other side of the map as quickly as possible, and if there is a demand, go for it, because it will make you money, as weird as that is. Um, there is not enough food being produced here. Oh, this grain farm is maxed out. But is this one, this one's not nearly maxed out. Okay. Let's make sure that whichever aircraft lands here is going to wait a little bit. I want them to wait for a full load. Uh, full load any. And here too. Because if they're flying half empty, they're not doing it well. They're not doing it right. Probably early on, this aircraft is not going to run too well. Well... <laughs> I say that, it's not actually true. I think Aircraft 2 did just drop off additional grain, which means that over here we should start eventually seeing more production as well as they start to climb into that third tier. Here, this one's waiting. Yeah, we're gonna have to tie in this other farm because we're simply not getting enough grain here. There, they're upgrading. Fifteen out of twenty. The food line is not going to enjoy this. Well, they are full. How much food is waiting at the other side? A lot. Okay. Station's overloaded. Lord Daniel food supply, if I'm not mistaken, goes here. Yeah, goes to Second Street. Oh, sorry, that's over here. Okay, I think that that line then deserves another vehicle. 
And I could upgrade the terminal a little more to ensure that they have more room. There we go. Speaking of terminals, one thing I forgot to sort out is my terminal over here. Because we have four vehicles spread out over two term no, three terminals. Let's make them a bit bigger. Configure terminals. Uh, you guys are splitting terminal one, I want you on terminal four. Yep, there we go. There is unfortunately not that much food waiting here. This one is making money, if only a tiny bit. I wonder if it's worth it adding another plane. This one is making no money whatsoever now, but now the millions come in. 3.6 million. Sure enough, airports are going to cost you 30 million as a startup cost. And then, of course, you have all the feeding lines, if you will. So, overall, it's going to not be too profitable right from the start. You still have a lot of investment to recoup. But I am not disappointed with how much money this line is making. And I think I can just stack on another aircraft on the Brendrian food line. Simply because there is a ton of grain waiting here. And it's not getting any younger. Uh, some of the cargo is lost because this station is overloaded. I just hope that I can provide enough food to the factory... Oh, sorry, enough grain. Where is it? Here. Enough grain to the factory here to provide food. This one is fully loaded, that's good. Aircraft 1's coming in with a whole bunch of grain. How much does that return flight yield? Another 2.2 .2 million. <laughs> For 20 grain. That's rich. <laughs> Alright. See, the consumption is really high, we're just not feeding it fast enough. tie this one in because if I tie this one in it'll provide a maximum of 300 more yeah why not it's gonna be a little bit expensive building a road over the lakeside but I think it'll be worth it in the end unless I go for more aircraft this one's finally full look at that almost 10 million is what we're making I'm gonna add another aircraft Now, back to the rest of the hub, over at Palms here. How are these other lines doing? Profitable, that's one red arrow. Martinez, profitable, 800k. And the Moore is 347. Good. Is there a particular bottleneck? No, not really. So it's not like these people are waiting for something in, uh, something in particular. What I could do, however, is provide more transport capability of food because they're getting 11 out of 47 they were getting 20 out of 80 these are getting 9 out of 47 we need more trucks uh, so that's these lines double double and the other one as well there that ought to do it that ought to make it better here comes another aircraft. This is the first aircraft I still have. 3.3 million made this year. Look at those finances. That's what you want to see with a line. That's more like it. And overall, the line is 6.6, 8.9. That's another aircraft that just came in, 9.1. Yeah, we can definitely get to 10 million very quickly. Oh, and by the way, off screen, I've already repaid 10 million of my debt. I can immediately repay the rest of it now. But I'm probably going to invest in another aircraft and just keep earning more and more and more money. So that that 20 million loan is becoming more of an afterthought than anything else. Holy crap, why is the traffic here so high? Oh, it's the main line. Hold on. This is a bit cruel, potentially. 
but I really do not want this amount of traffic to start slowing down my trucks. And it's doing just that because these vehicles, I'm not sure what Sierra is doing, but it's taking her, oh, there's the train. It's taking her forever to make her way onto the main line, the main road. Hold on. Maybe this is going to make it easier for them to, to go off the ramp or to go off the highway. This is an on-ramp, so I need to have an off-ramp somewhere here. I'm terrible at these things. The game really doesn't like it either. No, thank you. Um, upgrade it with traffic lights. Yeah, that's exactly what you want for a highway. You want it with traffic lights. I could throw in one of these. But that's a bit much. Because all of these passenger vehicles... What? I can buy... <laughs> I can buy small cars now? Like a Toyota 4Runner? That must be one of the mods that I have installed. No, I can't buy those. Well... No, I can. <laughs> they got a capacity of 3. They can do 191 kilometers an hour, or 250 if you get a Lexus S4, uh, LS400. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna buy vehicles that can transport that little. Not worth it. 17 million. <laughs> well, well, I'd say that that is a successful episode. Money is being made, and a lot of it. Unfortunately, one of these is still stuck in traffic, but the amount of traffic here should quickly dry up, as there is now no more traffic coming onto this road. And hopefully that'll get rid of this Oh, this traffic heap up. Um, hold on. If I just make a tunnel... Ah, never mind. That'll be fine. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for flying Stealth Airways. And I shall see you guys in a few days for the next episode.